Tuesday. I thought I'd do a little impromptu movie review because I've basically been doing that, watching movies. So, first off, movie win! Donnie Darko, guys. Seriously? I thought this was gonna be ridiculous, but it was fantastic! Go out and watch this if you haven't yet. I can't figure out where to put this. Go out and watch this movie. Seriously. And you should know that it appears as though it's going to be like a horror movie. But it's not. It's like a sci-fi movie. There's time travel. And that's like the major deal with it. So go out, watch the movie. I really think Taylor's going to like it. I'm hoping. Go out and watch the movie. Seriously. Um, however, the sequel is a movie fail. It's just dumb. It's like bad sci-fi channel movie, which are sometimes really amusing. This one, however, not so much. It's like they tried to make it really like twisty, turny plot style, you know, and it was just like too much, like way too much. However, it does have the scary face that haunts the first one, and. The face is like all over the cover, but it's hardly in the movie, which I think is hilarious. But this is the face. Wait, uh, can you see the face? That face, yes. It is a six foot tall bunny rabbit, and I've never been so scared by a six foot tall bunny rabbit. So go out and watch Donnie Darko. And if you feel you must, rent S. Darko. It's a new release. And, um,. When I rented it, I was like, you know what, I don't remember seeing this in theaters, and now I know why. So, anyway. Okay, and other movies. Where are any other ones I yeah. have? Okay, so, I also saw Taken. Can you see it? La 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 la. Anyway, it's about this. Little girl, who, not little girl, it's like a teenager, just graduated or something, maybe about to graduate, I don't really remember. It's not really that important, but um, she goes to Europe and gets like abducted, and they start like putting her in a sex ring and everything, and dad, it's like kick ass awesomeness. Uh, sorry, I stuttered a little bit when I said awesome. Anyway, um, really good action flick, one I would watch over and over again. Um, second movie. It's the first time I've seen it. Anyway, um, I know like I'm a little late with it, but good movie, regardless. Second movie. Wait. I've already said second, haven't I? This is like fourth. No, fifth. It's not really important. Anyway, um, uh, Last Chance Harvey. Sad, depressed me like crazy, and then got really good, really cute. So I'm really glad that I watched it. Um, any other ones? Oh, oh, an actual DVD. Um, Quantum Solace, really good movie, especially for you James Bond fans out there, because I know I'm not the only one. Right. Um, this one. I have not seen yet, but I will get there. Um, let you know how that goes. I, I've seen like four others, and I can't remember what they are right now. But I know that they were good. I know that's sad that I can't remember, but I know. But I know. Um, anyway, um, today, what I did, I babysat Abby again today. I babysat Abby again today. And that's always fun. Because we watched um, The Little Mermaid. And then we watched one of my favorites twice. So, and that wasn't my choosing. She was like, can we watch it again? I was like, yes, baby. Anyway, um, so there's that. I swear, if I remember what other movies they are, it's gonna bug me all night. Um, like, there might be a follow-up video on YouTube after I post this. You never know. Um, 
Yeah, anyway. Okay, um, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, I have really bad news today. Well, not today, I've actually known for a couple of days. I'm not going to announce it over YouTube. Um, it has to do with Lauren, though. So, she's okay. No worries. But, something happened. So, I will send out a mass text to all of you guys. Um, it just feels weird, like, revealing it over YouTube. Like, we can talk about it, I'm sure. That, that wouldn't be a problem. But, I feel a little weird just revealing it like that. I feel like it would kind of be, it's not something you would want out if it happened to you kind of a thing. Alright, uh, anything else? Shannon Sharpie? This is what I used to make the DVD covers with. Yeah, that was clever, wasn't it? Um, anyway. So I um, start my job on Thursday. And I'm so super excited about that. Yay. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just selling shoes. It's norm. You know, it's not, like, the most exciting thing I've ever done with my life, but... <sighs> Neither was that psychology class. Oh! Anyway. I made cookies! Yay! And there's still some in the oven. That's fantastic. They look really dark on screen. They're not. Anyway, um, so chocolate chip cookies. So I'm really excited um, that none of you guys are here because I have them all to myself. I'm just kidding. You and you and you and even you. No, not you. The one behind you. Dang it. All right. Um. Oh, oh, I remember. Okay. When I was watching the um, movies with Abdu, I came across an idea that I'm going to start assigning you guys personality traits that can only be summed up in, like, one name. So I want you to be ready for this, but it's coming now. And I was very, um, a little, a little racist when I did this one. I'll let you guess. Pocahontas, guess who? She's short. And she's Indian. Not Indian. Native American. But she calls an Indian. So she's a bad, this person. Anyway, but you know who you are. Everybody else knows who you are. Let's stop pretending that we don't. And then I thought about who else I would do that I could do, like, with the race kind of a thing. And I was like, alright, Mulan. She's Chinese. Right. Um, I was like, Sarah! And then I thought, you know, Mulan saves the world, but Mulan's in the military. Yeah, so Mulan is now our Asian. Um, anyway, I wish I had a video cover, but I don't. Because, I don't know. Um... I thought I had another one for Sarah. Don't panic. Anyway, I will be reviewing in my head like the classic fairy tale videos and like trying to assign different ones to us, but you know, so so far we know Kristen and um, Kirsten, which is a little ironic. Um, isn't it? Maybe? It's just a little bit? Anyway, um, I've got a pretty, idea, a pretty good idea who I want Sarah to be. But, um, I'm not going to tell right now. I'm ready, like, I'm open for suggestions, though, so keep them coming in. And, um, I will, I will see you guys next Tuesday, unless there's a follow-up, um, because I can't remember right now. It is a very sad thing that nowadays there is so little useless information. Thank you, Oscar Wilde. So, anyway, with that happy note, I'm going to go. See you guys later. Bye.